continues, yes. Basically what it does is it helps you use your camera to scan a barcode and then it recognizes the code and says if uh, the thing you're buying is was produced in Ukraine or Russia or somewhere else. If someone doesn't buy goods from the Russian companies, they don't pay taxes and partly they, <laughs> some of these taxes go to support the Russian army and that's what we don't want. <laughs> Будучи російські продукти, ми підтримуємо російську економіку. Податки, які платять російські фірми, йдуть на фінансування армії, яка на даний час проявляє агресію щодо нашої країни. Here we've got a bottle of beer, it's called Old Bobby and it looks like it is English, it even says English pint over here, but actually if we scan the barcode using the app, we can see it's not English, it's a Russian product. Ну, ми були на російському сайті, це ВКонтакті, але після тих подій, які произошли в нашій країні, ми змінили свою точку зору і перейшли на українську мережу. A lot of Ukrainians use uh, Russian social network VK.com, um, which we don't like because it's a Russian IT product and we don't, wouldn't like to support any uh, Russian products. Uh, doesn't, doesn't matter if it's IT products, food or anything else because uh, Russia is aggressive against Ukraine and we don't want to support this aggressive. Okay. 
actually I don't read which stuff I'm buying because uh, I love uh, some goods and I I just buy them. Of course, indeed, it's increasing tension for uh, for the business community because, especially because some some companies, especially like small and middle-sized companies, they do not impact the political decision process, decision-making process. Yes, maybe some big corporations, uh, those ones which are very close to po political circles, they do impact the, the decision making. But nevertheless, there is. Um, probably less companies of such caliber. A majority of them, they are just the victims of the uh, uh, political um, decisions which are being taken. 